Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. Today I'm going to be remodeling my private island for um, the holidays and Christmas and winter um, using all of the stuff that we got from the various turning in of resources and things. Um, so we have quite a bit of um, holiday items. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Um, so we got like igloos and like cabin, winter cabin there. Uh, some jumps and stuff, so it's going to be lots of fun. Um, our island is going to look awesome when we're done with this. First up, we're replacing our regular entrance gates with some holiday ones. And here's the first one. Over here, we're picking up our second one, and then there is that one placed down. And then we've got our third entranceway right here. Next up, we're just going to pick up our regular campfire and replace it with this lovely um, winter bonfire set right here like that. Here I think would be a good spot for the winter cabin, so we went ahead and picked up our well and then we're going to place our winter cabin right here. Now doesn't that look nice? And honestly, it fits in quite perfectly, so I'm really happy um, with how that turned out. All right, next, so we're just going to clear our um, jumps and barrels, and I think we're just going to have those uh, in the indoor arena, and then I'm going to do something else with this area in just a second. This area is going to be where we are having our igloos, as well as a round winter pen, so I went ahead and placed those igloos, as well as the pen like this. And then I also placed our final holiday entrance gate like that, looking very nice. On the inside of the igloos, I went ahead and added um, the normal campfires. They seem to fit um, pretty well in there. And then I just had two. So we did the two that were closest to each other. And then the third one will just, that'll just be the third one. You don't, you don't need to go on the third one. And then around the place, I went ahead and added in some candy canes to add to the festive holiday vibes of this area. Next, it was time to decorate the front of the barn, so I went ahead and placed some of this decorative holiday garland right up here at the top. I thought it fit nicely. And then I also got some bushes, um, so we placed some bushes near the benches because it was feeling a little plain over there. Much better now. And then, of course, we had to use our decorative holiday wreaths. Um, now, it just so happens that I happened to have two of them, which was perfect um, from the uh, present machine. I realized that I had some gift bags, so I went ahead and placed one at my little winter cabin and then one right here up against this tree. Next, it was time to do our indoor arena, so I went ahead and busted out the candy cane skin and I placed two at the entrance here, which I thought was pretty cute. I thought that here would also be a good place to use um, my decorative cutouts. I had a deer that I placed right there, um, and then I also had a polar bear, which I proceeded to place in this little gap right there, and it turned out so cute. I really like those. Next, I moved on to the indoor arena, and I was actually going to place two north poles down, um, kind of in the center. I had like this vision um, for a little show jumping course, and I thought that the north poles would be a nice touch. Um, to it. You'll see what I mean once I start placing down the jumps. And then, yeah, here is me placing my jumps. Um, I sped this up because there wasn't really anything fancy about me uh, placing the jumps. I tried to make it as symmetrical as I could on either side. And then in the center, I placed a Sansa jump and a wreath jump like this. And then here is me and Meringue running through the core. So you go ahead and go up on one side. And then you go on down through the center, you stop, you turn around, and you go back up, and then you loop around the other side. So I think it's a pretty cool course, I'm very happy with it, and that's how that turned out. And then I also had some extra candy canes, so I went ahead and placed one on each side like so to add more um, to the festivity in here. And then I also had some green candy canes, which I figured would um, look nice by the farm over here, um, and just to add more to this here area. Next, I picked up two winter horse shelters from Larry, as well as the log and stick deer. I placed the horse shelters over in the pasture over here, and I think that they look really nice in these here spots. 
I placed my little log and stick deer over here at the mailbox because I thought that that was a cute location. I realized I had one red candy cane and one green candy cane left in my inventory, um, so I just placed them like this just to give them a spot, and I think it looks pretty fun. And then I also placed a decorative sign and wrote Happy Holidays on it because, you know, this is my remodeled holiday island. I really wanted to place like garland and wreaths on the walls of the inside of my barn here, um, but I didn't have any, so we'll just have to pretend like there's some there. Now it is time for the full tour of my holiday island. Um, so once you get past the candy canes, you come up to this lovely um, entrance gate and you can hop over that. And then, you know, we got my street lamps there from the beginning and then you get greeted with this lovely holiday barn um, with the wreaths and the little holiday garland at the top. And I just think that that looks really cute over there. And then as you make your way this way, you see this super cool show jumping area and you see the candy canes and you're just drawn to it. So you decide to go ahead and go on in. And then here is me just doing the show jumping again, um, but from the first person perspective. Um, so I think it's really cool. I'm very proud of the show jumping over here. Um, and yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. So we'll just finish this up. Um, the North Poles also add a nice touch to it. Feel free to use this idea um, if you would like to. And then there is that with the beautiful, beautiful look of it over there. Let's move on from that area and check out over here. So you get greeted with another holiday entrance gate. You can go ahead and hop over that. And then you got some igloos. Um, you got the round pen over there. And then you've got some campfires on the inside of the igloos if you want to go in there and just chill in an igloo. It's pretty fun in there. You can sit by the fire. Um, there's candy canes along the edges. It's very festive. I like that area as well. Um, and then let's go ahead and head on over here um, as we make our way through the trees onto this path. And then in the pasture, you can see we got the nice snowy horse shelters over there. Very fun, very nice. The horses can go ahead and chill in there when the weather gets all cold. Um, and then I also didn't feel like adding snowy trees, so we just got regular trees on this island um, over here. We got the green candy canes going at the farm. And then over here, we've got a really nice welcoming fireplace and a cabin with a little bag of presents. I think it's really cute. And then there's our winter fire. And then over here, we just got another present bag and then our picnic tables. Um, so yeah, anyways, that is all that I have for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me remodel my island. Subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.